Hi, I am Dr. Vidyadhara Ayer, Head of the Department and Consultant Spine Surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. See, there is nothing perfect with respect to the posture. I always believe that it is something to do with the flexibility and stiffness of an individual. No time for exercise. So we become stiff. Now, this has to be reversed. You need to get flexible and then you will not break. Then the height of the table, height of the chair, height of the armrest, angle of the laptop doesn't matter once you are flexible. Now how to get back flexible? The moment you say exercise, anybody in their 50s will tell, oh no problem doctor, we'll go for a walk in the park. Park walking does good to the heart and lungs and the legs, nothing to the spine. Or youngsters may want to go and join the gym to build the muscles. but it doesn't affect the flexibility of the neck and the back. The only exercise which actually affects the spine is yoga and the nearest to that is swimming. In one Surya Namaskar, your neck moves back, moves shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, ankle. Every single joint moves full range of movement and that is what is required for the flexibility of the joint so that it doesn't break again. And this has to be done on routine, as a routine, ritual, rather than doing once in a while. And Yoga is the best because you don't have a reason not to do it. Once you get habituated to it, I think it's only laziness that you may not do it. Otherwise, rest all you can say, oh, I went to my native place and there was no swimming pool or gym or something else. So flexibility is the key and not the posture exactly. But when you are in office, it's always advisable to sit straight, look straight, not necessarily a military position, but whatever is comforting you with a backrest. And more important than that, I think take breaks. Take breaks, do some stretches, move your neck, like how the PT teacher used to teach us in the elementary school. I think it's all taught with a reason and we don't follow them anymore.